here in Connecticut, and it can happen when boat owners skip town and leave behind a broken, non-working boat, making it someone else's issue. As Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains, that can be a real headache for marina owners. We do, do do get them quite often. Captain uh, Bob Wadsworth owns Mago Point Marina in Waterford, home to 60 boats. Many of the owners are good, paying customers, but there's always a lemon. People that buy the boats and realize what the financial responsibilities are. He's talking about abandoned boats. Sometimes they just wash ashore. Other times, people purposefully leave boats behind at a marina without paying rent. A lot of people just skip town and that's it, leave you, leave you hanging. Captain Bob says he's already gone through the abandoned boat process twice this year. He says ordinarily, they get an abandoned boat every other year. If the vessel is just abandoned and washes up on somebody's property, it's that property owner's right to apply to the abandoned boat process. The process takes about two to three months. DEEP will try and track down the owner. If they can't find them, the boat is awarded to whoever found it or the marina owner. Usually inheriting the boat's not a good thing because now we have to dispose of it. It does become a burden because uh, we have to get rid of the oils, the antifreeze, the gasoline, make them uh, environmentally friendly before they go to the dump. And it's not just happening at marinas. Connecticut Deep does get a handful of these that show up at, uh, at our state boat launches and our environmental conservation police are required to go through the abandoned boat process so that we can take ownership. DEEP created this program in 2015. Since then, they've gone through this process about a thousand times, meaning about 125 boats are abandoned in Connecticut each year. Typically, the boats that we get up are older boats, possibly wood boats, and just things that, you know, people get too deep and, and abandon them. In Waterford, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.